Hi everybody, I'm Chris, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about a um, little bit of kit I've been using quite extensively recently. Um, it's something, it's a sort of amalgamation of a couple of pieces of, uh, of equipment um, and a little bit of customization work. That is, uh, I, I think, um, you know, in my opinion, this is probably the best setup you can, you can get, you can use um, when it comes to protecting your eyes and your, uh, and your old pearly whites, or not so white in my case, um, when you're at an airsoft game. Obviously this applies, applies more to close quarters games, um, but if you're playing in woodland there's just as much of a chance really that you're going to get a tooth shot out by a BB, so always, uh, always good to have that, that lower half protection there. <sighs> so basically what it is, it's a pair of uh, ESS goggles, eye safety systems, um, are well known, they make some of the best eye protection out there, they were, uh, they were and are standard issue um, eye protection gear for British military folks deploying out to uh, Afghan Iraq for many years, pretty sure they're still being issued, um, I saw a lot of guys got, that I worked with certainly um, when they got their pre-deployment kitting and they were, they were issued, not this, these exact goggles but ISA. ESS even uh, products. Uh, these these lenses are rated to stop a uh, bird shot from about 10 yards from a 12 ball shotgun. Um, they will stop IED fragmentation, shrapnel, probably grenade shrapnel, you know, as long as you're not right next to it. So this uh, this lens will definitely stop a BB. So yeah, great goggles, really high quality. Um, you can pick them up various different gear and kit retailers, uh, airsoft, um, you know, eBay, yeah, there's lots of options. The, the, I think the, I've had these particular ones for many, many years. I think they're the low profile night vision, you know, just on their own, they work great. Uh, but of course, like I say, you want to protect your teeth. So that's when, uh, that's when the lower half mask comes in. Now, what this actually is, or what it's taken from, is uh, if you're in the UK, and when you, when it, I can pretty much guarantee you, whenever you go to Airsoft, you will see all the rental players, and they will have a rental mask that is this lower part here with a with a mesh wire mesh goggle attached up at the top of it. You can pick those up uh, for not a lot of money. Various Hong Kong retailers, um, UK Airsoft retailers, it's sometimes referred to as a Sansei type. Um, but you know you, you'll you'll find those full masks for not much money uh, in various different places. Pretty much anywhere you might buy air sort of stuff. And all you do one, once you get that, you, you get your ESS gold, and then you know uh, you, you'll want to. It'll have foam all around the edges. You know you, you you'll need to take that out at least from from the bottom edges of the goggles in order to attach the the lower mask half. So. You've got your ESS goggles from wherever you bought them. You buy your, your full face with the mesh attached up top. All you do is you just pull the mesh goggles off, chuck them in the bin, frankly. They're probably not very good. And then you're left with, uh, with this, this plastic part down here, which is plenty strong enough to stop a BB from, uh, from hitting your teeth. It's actually a very simple process to attach them together. Now, I'm, I'm not the first one to come up with this. I actually followed a, uh, a guide, um, which I will link to down in the description uh, on the Arnie's Airsoft forum, written by a guy over in the States who really knows his stuff. Um, and basically all you need is once you've got your goggles and your lower half, you need two zip ties uh, and some sort of, like a Stanley knife, some sort of knife that's quite sharp. And that, you know, that is it. Um, like I say, I'll link to the guide, but to give you a rough idea, all you have to do to get, as you can see, there's basically, there is a tiny gap there, very small, but a BB's not going to get through that. Um, and as you see there, there's zero gap between the goggles and the, uh, and the lower half mask all along that bottom edge here. So there's no chance of a BB getting up inside. Um, which means your eyes and your teeth are very well protected. So, like I say, all, all you've got to do, separate the mesh goggles from this half, then you make two 
very, very small knife cuts just here, just to the side of the nose, you'll see where that piece of the rubber surround of the goggles um, has sort of settled into the cut that I've made and then same on the other side, just there and you, you'll need to cut two small holes for some zip ties just there and then on the inside of the goggles you just thread your zip ties through and you'll see just there that's where hopefully that's showing up that's where the zip ties are and obviously you cut them off once you've attached it all together and that's basically it and then you've got a, a really good um, really good system it doesn't fog too much I've found I mean I'm quite bad for fogging up iPro but um, especially if you take the foam out the top of the goggle here that really helps with fogging it's very comfortable to wear you've only got one strap instead of two whereas most people they'll have they'll have their eye pro and then they'll have like a mesh lower mask so they've got having to get two straps of their head I don't find that very comfortable I find it quite hard to set up so that it is it's agreeable to wear for a, for a whole day air sort of. apart from like I say you've just got the one strap Go around here like so. I think it looks quite good. Um, you can, of course, before you attach the, the plastic lower half, I've drilled a load of holes, just helps with the ventilation. You can put a lot more in that, just find like a about a four mil drill bit. A BB will never get through, but you get a lot more airflow than just these slits down the front here. Um, you can also, I've cut off, there were these sort of plastic loops where a strap could go through. Um, I just remove them with, with my knife. Makes it look a bit better, I think. I, my um, paint job I've done here is just Krylon. I've just used a few pine leaves oh, uh, out of the garden, just lay them on, a couple of sprays. As you see, when, when it does take a BB hit, it can flake off on this on the so, solid part at the front here, but it, you know, it, it's, it doesn't take two minutes to give it a quick respray. If you're, um, if you know someone that can do Cerakote, uh, you can get that and that'll be pretty permanent. You can get you could get that part hydro dipped in multicam or ATAX or um, you know, some of those real tree type camouflage patterns. So there's a lot of customization options with, with a mask like this. Like I say it's comfortable, you can set up how you want. You can use other goggles, you can I've seen uh, arena flak jacks used, they're pretty cheap in the States. Um, some other products from ESS, you can use the ESS turbo fans and then you'll never get any fogging problems at all, that's for sure. Um, or they're pricey but you know, it, I think it's worth investing. Um, um, the other really big plus I find is the cheek well. If I demonstrate, put, put them on. Most wire mesh masks, you try and put a rifle stock up in here, it will interfere, you have problems. But let me demonstrate with this mask. Okay, so here we've got a uh, CQB M4. AR-15. You can see, got absolutely no problems at all. Getting my face right down onto the gun. The plastic just uh, just sits right next to your face, so you can get your cheek right on there. No issues at all looking down your side. When it comes to the complete setup wearing these, the, you, the problem you find is most most baseball caps they have a sort of um, they have this gap here at the back, which isn't what you want because generally you want to wear. You want to wear a, a backwards cap with this setup. And then you put the mask on, like so, but then you still get hit up here. So the cap I the cap I recommend, this is the, it's the Grey Ghost Gear Operator's Cap. Very nice baseball cap, very useful for, uh, for all sorts of things. As you can see, you put it on, no gap here. Take your mask set up, put that over the top like so. The goggle just interfaces with the bottom edge of the cap. You can see there, you're not going to get hit on the forehead. Um, teeth are protected, eyes are nicely covered up. You, you know, you, you're still a little bit vulnerable in this neck area, but then you can, you know, you can just wear like a some sort of gaiter or a shamag or something like that. So yeah, overall, I, you know. Um, a, a lot of you probably already have goggles that would do the job in your kit sort of collection um, and you might even have that mask and you can get zip ties in any you know 
DIY or hardware or whatever you, sort of store you've got shop nearby for a, you, know, you can get a whole packet for like a quid or two so if you've already got the goggles these set, this, um, this setup isn't uh, expensive at all to produce um, doesn't take much time either you can customize the way it looks as I say it's comfortable it doesn't interfere with the cheek weld minimizes the number of straps you've got to wear um, it just it just works I find it you know the, the, the woven wire mesh lower face masks are very popular these days um, and they are good but I find that they really really have a big problem in terms of interfering with getting your cheek onto a buttstock and that I'm not a fan of so this this is a much better idea overall I think um, like I say I will I will link in the description box down to the, the forum thread with the guide. Um, you know, it's quite an in-depth guide. The uh, guy's written up into how to put one of these together, but it is very easy. It doesn't cost a great deal of money, and like I say, it it, it works. I've I've used this this mask now quite a few times. I'm probably going to do another one. I'll probably buy some ESS turbo fans. Maybe get another lower half. Get it multicam dipped or, or something like that just to see what I can do um, because it, it, really, it really works very well and because the plastic of this is nice and soft you can cut it and mould it and drill it and do whatever you want to it so there we go there we have it guys the, uh, the in fact one thing I forgot to mention if you um, a lot of places out there will custom make a wire mesh lens so if you're not a fan of polycarbonate plastic lenses in your eye pro you can still use a wire mesh lens and obviously then you've got no fogging I'm not a fan myself but if you want to there are goggles out there that do have that wire mesh lens and do uh, interface with this and you know so there's there's a very wide range, wide range of options and uh, it's just a great setup overall so um, thanks for watching everyone do appreciate everyone that comes by um, more videos to come as usual if you want if you want to have a look at some other uh, gear reviews and stuff that I've done, have a check out on the channel. Would appreciate that as well. And I'll see you next time.